Hi, this is John from Proper Coils, and today we're having a look at the 520 Burrow Tank from Cthulhu. So here we have the 520 Borough Tank from Cthulhu. This was sent on to me by Daredevil over on Instagram. I'm going to put his uh, Instagram tag here on the bottom left. Make sure you go over and give him a follow. So the package in here, just a simple clear plastic box. On the back here, we have your QR code. So you scan this and it's going to bring you to the Cthulhu mod .com website. And it'll show you the user manual for this device. So the little specs on the back here, you have special design to reduce the effect of L-shaped airflow. So if you're using a billet box or an SXK billet, billet box, it's um, the, way the, the way the airflow works, it's going to come in from the side and up. So like an l shape designed airflow. So the idea of the special design to reduce the effect of that is to reduce turbulence and to give you a smoother vape so below that it says smooth and quiet vape experience so we'll see if that works when we open her up and test it below that it says design for restricted direct lung and mouth to lung vaping i have been using this predominantly in a direct lung setup so i'm going to show you that when i do the build and pop a coil in and i'll go through exactly how it vapes and what my preferences are in relation to motor lung restricted direct lung and direct lung airflow options we have seven options and we have six 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 airflow inserts so obviously the extra one is a uh, having no insert at all so the 4.5 mil it states here on the back is with no insert and the other six options are the six options it gives you with the six inserts provided on the front here we have 510 520 tank from cthulhu and the qr code again so we we'll open her up so in the package here we have we have a nautilus setup so there's a base and there's an adapter here for nautilus coils um, Nautilus coils are very easy to find and they're one of the best stock coil mouth along coils you can get so it's good to have that option here so you pop that base on the bottom and they put this adapter in and your Nautilus coils will fit in no problem this adapter here is for your PNP coils so your Vupu PNP coils so you pop this into your as a bridge and then you pop your coil in the bottom put your base put the normal base on and it works with PNP coils in here we have a 510 adapter so that's going to screw onto the bottom of the boro tank and that would allow you to dry burn your coils so we'll put that to a side we will be using that the six airflow inserts are going from 0.8 which is your tight mouth to lung to 4.5 sorry 4 mil make sure i'm right here 3.5 mil apologies so this is your 3.5 mil without any insert it is 4.5 mil i have been using the 3.5 mil insert predominantly i have done a couple of mouth to lung bills but i think after testing this for about a week that the best my, in my opinion, the best way to use this bridge or borrow tank is in restricted direct lung or direct lung mode. And the 3.5 for a direct lung vape for me was very, very good. So it, we'll open her up. We'll pop out the, we'll pop out the uh, 3.5 insert and we'll pop out the tank. And we'll take a closer look. So we'll give it a zoom. So we have a base that just pops off and it's got a square silicone ring on the bottom. And the way the airflow works, like most um, 
filler boxes is the airflow is coming in from the side and then up through this hole and straight up into your channel. So that is the way it's designed. It's wide open. There's no restriction with the base here at all. So that's not going to affect your airflow at all. The tank itself is made from, from plastic and then the bridge inside the tank is 316L stainless steel. We'll pop it out. There we go. So the deck, simple two two post design, nice large channel for your airflow. And on the base here, this piece just spins off and allows you to insert your airflow inserts. So we're going to pop in the 3.5 mil airflow insert. It'll just pop straight in. And that's how she goes. And you just pop that, uh, pop your base screw back on, tighten her up, and that is it. This is something that you can do on the fly. So you can you can you can take you can pop your tank out and unscrew your unscrew your little base nut here and change your airflow on the fly without have affecting the coil or affecting your without having to empty the juice from the tank, which I think is a really good thing. Um, it, it'll take a pretty large coil. The biggest I put in this is 3 mil. Uh, 2.5, I think, looks a bit lost in there, and 3.5 is a little bit tight, so I think 3 mil is the sweet spot, so that's mostly what I've been using. For the mountain lung setups, I've been using 2.5, it's fine. But I, again, I think this is really set up for a direct, direct lung or a restricted direct lung vape. So... The rest of the tank then so this is sandblasted obviously um in my in my opinion like a clean stainless steel or a brushed stainless steel would have been better i'm not a massive fan of of uh sandblasted stainless steel but i uh i think it's i think it's a pretty good looking borrow tank and pretty good looking bridge i like the font i think it looks pretty cool and you can see here on the bottom this is where your juice is going to hit your wick so it, it's a, it's it's a very easy very easy bridge to build. So your coil is going to sit across here, and your wick down here, wick down here, similar to an RDA, nothing too fancy, and your juice is going to come in here. And I've had absolutely no issues with wicking whatsoever. It wicks very very well. So we're going to pop this back in. And that is how it looks when it's all together. So the body itself is 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 a plastic. Um, it's 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 sturdy. It's not going to break on you. It's not flimsy. Um, I think the build quality is very very good. I've had absolutely no leaking from this whatsoever. Um, mid long builds, fifty fifty juices, seventy thirty eighty twenty. Um, absolutely no leaking. So i i know a lot of bridges or borrow tanks um have some issues with leaking there has been like very very slight condensation which i i don't which i think every single borrow tank i've used or bridge will have some sort of condensation it's just a, it's just the way things are when you're using a billet box but um there's been no leaking from this whatsoever from any of the bills i've put in and i've put in about six to seven bills since i've had this and um yeah no leaking issues which is Really, really good. So we're going to pop a. We're going to pop a coil in this. So we're going to stick the five ten adapter, which just screws on the bottom here. Very easy. And I'm going to grab a mud. So your five ten adapter just so screws straight on top of your mud. There we go. So we are going to be throwing in some frame staples from Proper Coils. So this, these are made with uh, six pieces of 0.4 Cantal ribbon, framed with two pieces of 26 gauge Cantal, and they're wrapped in 38 gauge Cantal, so a full Cantal build. And the ohms will ohm out at du dual coil. They'll ohm out at between 0 0.09 and 0 0.1 and the three millimeter inner diameter 
single coil these should come out at 0 0.18 to 0 0.2 but i'm going to be pulling half a wrap off these so they're probably going to come out a little bit less so maybe around one 0 0.16 so there's your frame staples so let's get a build on this There's the borrow tank all built. We'll put some juice in. So if, to fill your juice, you just lift the gasket at the front. Very accessible. And fill up your 4.2 mil. And we pop it in the it's a SXK billet box. So this will fit any um any billet box any billet box um borrowed device such as an SXK or any of the original billet boxes. So we will pop straight in and we'll screw the screw the nut down. And we pop on my favourite 510, which is from the Dwarf FLDL. There she is sitting pretty in the SXK billet box. So we're going to bring her back up top and I'm going to give you my pros and cons of the 520 Borrow Tank from Cthulhu. So we're back up top with the 520 Borrow Tank from Cthulhu and it's sitting in the SXK billet box at 55 watts and the frame staple we put in is sitting at 0 0.19 ohms so we'll go through the cons first and i only have one con and is it is the brushed it at the minute it only comes in brushed stainless steel which is i'm not a big fan of i i really like clean looking bridges rtas rdas i like brushed stainless steel or like the gloss finish that clean look um i'm not a massive fan of sandblasted Um, i still think it looks i still think looks wise i think it looks pretty good but i think it would have looked a lot better if it was brushed stainless steel and that really is the only con i have for this and uh, everything else is a pro so we go through the pros so the airflow as it said on the packaging um it said it mentions the fact that it was a uh, special design to reduce the effect of L-shaped airflow. So obviously on a billet box or a SX cable a box, uh, the airflow comes in from the side, comes in from the side and then up the airflow channel and hits your coil. And in some devices, it can be turbulent or it can be noisy. On this, with this bridge, it is very quiet and the vape is very, very smooth.
One of the quietest bridges or boat tanks I've ever used. Really smooth airflow. Uh, the flavour from it is right, right up there with some of the best bridges or boat tanks I've ever used. Really good flavour. Um, I, after playing around with this for with a few builds, restricted direct lung builds, like 0.5 builds, 0.4 builds, I think a lower ohm build is better. Lower ohm build is better. Like a 0.2... For me, 0.2 is like the sweet spot for this. So this is sitting at 0.19, 55 watts, and it's a really, really nice vape. One of the airiest, airiest Boro tanks I've ever used, or bridges I've ever used. And that's, that's even with the 3.5 insert in there, the 3.5 mil insert in there, it's still very airy and gives you a very very good direct lung vape the lux wise apart from the sandblasted finish i think lux wise it's um it's a good looking tank it reminds me a bit of the of the uh, vape snail or the vape shell um it's a it's a good looking good looking piece of kit i like the font the font's pretty cool the capacity most mostly most of these type of boro tanks have a decent capacity of four mil and up, so four point two mil capacity. Even though it's the same for most of them, it is a, it's obviously going to be a pro. The the wicking is extremely easy. Basically, you just wick this like an RDA. So yeah, cut. Basically, what I was doing was cutting the cotton to the side of side walls of the bridge, dropping it straight in like an RDA. Absolutely no wicking issues whatsoever. Any of my bills, no leaking. Very, very slight bit of condensation on your panel. You can probably see there the little mark there, but that that was literally the height of any of any leaking, and you can't even call that leaking. It's just condensation, and that is just what happens with um, filler boxes in general. That's just going to happen with everything you use, and I can definitely deal with that or live with that. So that was the. 520 borrow tank from Cthulhu uh, I'd definitely if you're looking for a direct lung or like a airy borrow tank if you're new to borrow tanks or borrow bridges uh, I think this would be a good step into that sort of area because it's given you a lot of airflow so if you're coming from like even a single coil RTA or dual coil RTA it's gonna something it's gonna be something similar so it's like bridging the gap between the borrow end of things and like the RTA end of things. So it's uh yeah, it's good. Definitely definitely a good device for people new to this sort of the borrow or billet box end of things. And that's obviously getting very popular at the minute. There's a lot of things getting released for borrow devices. So if you like the review or like the reviews in general, make sure you hit the subscribe and the notification bell. If you're looking for any handmade coils, make sure you head over to propercoils.com. I hope you enjoyed the review. Thanks very much for watching and I hope to see you again next time.